Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial series. This is Joseph Simitson. I am content creator and instructor at Claris Way. In this video, I am going to show you daily usage of Google Colab. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to get familiar with the basics of Google Colab and to work with external files. Okay, before diving into the topics, let me have a short introduction of Google Colab. Then, what is Google Colab? Google Colab is an executable document within an environment that lets you write, run, and share codes within Google Drive. Actually, it is Jupyter-based interpreter on the Google Cloud, and therefore, we call it Colab Notebook in our daily use. Colab Notebook is composed of cells, each of which can contain code, text, images, and more. Okay, if you double click on the cell, you can see that I use several syntaxes, which are markdown and HTML syntaxes here. So I can display any images and write plain text easily. The cell in which I do all these things is text cell. When you click on this button, you can open empty text cell easily. Okay. Colab connects your notebook to a cloud-based runtime, which means you can execute Python code of many libraries and modules without any required setup on your machine. If you click on this connect button here, you can connect the default runtime easily so that you can execute Python code from now on. By doing so, actually, it connects us to a machine on a class. If you can see here that we have 107 gigabyte disk space and 12 gigabyte RAM space. So, what makes Colab powerful is that it has numerous pre-installed libraries, so you can work without any other installation. Let's display all pre-installed libraries of Google Colab if you want. For this, we write pip and list commands and run it. Okay, we displayed all current libraries and modules on Google Colab. Okay. Colab notebooks can be shared like any ordinary Google documents, and for this purpose, it's useful to use text cells to provide narrative around the code you've executed. If you would like to share your notebooks with others, you can do so via Google Drive sharing, or even by exporting your notebook to GitHub. Colab Notebook is stored as standard Jupyter Notebook format, and so the notebooks you created can be viewed and executed in Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab, or even Jupyter-based extensions on Visual Studio Code and other compatible frameworks, of course. Okay. On the left side of the notebook, we have useful sidebar menu, and if we click on this, we can manage table of contents, detailed search area, ready to use code snippets, and folders section, which we use today. If I click on this folder icon here, we can display the default folder directory. Okay, at this point, I would like to draw your attention to Contents folder here. The current directory of Colab Notebook is this folder. So, all the files and folders that we are going to work on should be in it. So, how can we work with files using Google Colab? 
Well, we have several options to do that. First, let's use standard files library of Google itself. Let's import it from, from Google Collab import files module. I mean run it. Okay, we import and let's use it with upload methods. And if I run the cell, you can see it allows me to select any files on my local machine. Let's click on this. And in this case, I'm going to use test txt files here. And yes, if I click on the folders, I can hear and content. You can see it uploaded test txt file into my content folder here. And using files module, I can display the content of files and I can download the files from Google Colab Notebook to my local machine. For this, I have files and you can see view method here. If I write my tests txt file inside the method and run it, you can see it appears on the right side of the Google Colab, the content of my file. And for this, in a simple way, you can click double click on the file here to display the contents of the file in the same way. Okay? Okay. And for downloading it, I have another method. You can see download method here. And if I pass the name of my txt file and run it, you can see it downloaded it to my local machine here. Okay, the second option which allows us to work with files is that you can simply drag and drop the files onto content folder here. Okay, let's open the folder, my document folder here. This is my local machine and I choose test zip file, drag and drop into content folder here. Click OK and yes the test zip file uploaded very easily. And the last option that I would like to show you today is using wget command inside the code cell. Yes, we get command and suppose that we have to download a file from a GitHub repo. And for this purpose, I'm gonna use we get and the link here for this file. In this case, I will use my GitHub repo and I will download test.txt file into Colab Notebook again. Here, test.txt file and I click on this and copy the link from the browser and paste just right after the we get command here. Let's delete this test.txt file before downloading it. Okay. When I run it, you can see, let's refresh our folder. Okay. It downloaded test.txt file to my content folder here very easily. So that's all for today. Stay tuned with Clothersway.